Welcome back, folks. I'm Joe Dalto with ZVan Technologies, and this is video number three in our ZTV installation training series. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Televiz H30 digital CATV meter, and we're going to show you how to use this bad boy. Let's dive in. Now, the engineering department here at ZBAN has been using the H30 for years, and this thing is a tank. We recently picked up the new H30 Plus right here, and it has some pretty cool updates that we're pretty excited about. The most notable change when you look at the device is they've switched from the rotary dial to the up, down, left, right navigation buttons. Once you dive in a little deeper, you'll find there's a built-in tuner that allows you to view live channels, so there's no need to drag a TV with you from site to site for testing. Now, the goal of this video is to stick to the meat and potatoes. I want to show you how to configure this device and run through the screens and information our engineers would need to help you troubleshoot a problem over the phone. For demonstration purposes, the engineering team has provided us a line from our in-house cable feed. If we were on site for a Z-band commissioning, we would imagine this is the DMARC from the service provider or head end. Essentially, this would be the final handoff that gets plugged into the Z-band distribution system. Why do we start here? Because it doesn't make sense to do your first scan downstream if you're having problems with your main feed. We have to know our handoff is good, otherwise, as we like to say, crap in, crap out. Assuming that you've already gone through the initial configuration and registration of your meter, let's check out our head end feed. Once we connect the meter, we're going to toggle down to setup. In the setup menu, we're going to toggle down and select terrestrial plan. Terrestrial is just abbreviated. Now in the terrestrial plan, we're going to select FCC standard. Once selected, we're going to hit the back arrow button to get us to the main menu. In the main menu, we're going to head back to learning plan and click OK. After you click OK, the meter is going to do an entire scan of your cable feed. A system scan will quickly tell you if your signal is level or if you have any slope issues. Remember, we want a flat signal without any slope because our video hubs automatically adjust for slope. Slope is just a linear change in dB as you get higher into frequencies. Once complete, you'll see that we have a relatively flat signal and everything is hovering right around 20 dB MV, which is our sweet spot for digital. If we were looking at an analog feed, we'd want to see a slightly hotter signal in the 24 to 26 dB range. Now we can back out of the learning plan and we have the option to save it. By saving the learning plan, you can cut down on scan times because the meter is only going to look for those frequencies that were just saved. Now with our learning plan all set up, there are two main screens you're going to be jumping between, channel info and system scan. When we click on the channel info, we can look at the individual QAM channel to check power level and mirror. So here we're currently on channel two. Uh, we can see that our power level is 15 dB MV. Uh, that's a little, uh, little low. And then I can see that we have carrier to noise of 43. So if it's carrier to noise, that actually tells us that we have uh, an analog channel. So we don't see any mirror. Let's actually jump up, check another channel. Here we go. Here's uh, QAM channel 3. We're at 19.4 dB MV, which is pretty darn close to 20. We have a mirror of 42, so that's a pretty good mirror, and that's a pretty decent channel. We'd like it to be a little bit hotter, but that's pretty darn close. Again, it's important to note we're always shooting for that 20 dB MV power level and mirror of 38 or greater. It's also important to remember that your QAM channel may differ from the virtual channel you see on your TV. That's why it's sometimes important to have a channel map from your service provider. Just because it says channel 20 on your TV doesn't mean it's writing on RF channel 20. Then if we need to, we can back out and select system scan to look at our entire feed. Now again, uh, we have a relatively flat signal here, hovering right around the 20 dB MV flat. So this is pretty good. No major adjustments look like they need to be made. And I think that's pretty good. 
So we can back out then. Uh, if we need to spot check any channels, uh, we can always jump in and try the new television feature just for continuity purposes. So we'll check it out here. There we go. We have a modulated channel. Look at that little Z-band channel. And that's about it. Now that you've got the basics down on how to operate the H30, you're ready to do some commissioning and troubleshooting. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you found all this information useful. Thanks again for watching, and if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Um. Um. This is where it gets tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh.